Well, Cameroon's longtime leader, Paul Bia, officially began his seventh consecutive term in power after a constitutional council he appointed rejected all 18 petitions challenging the results of the nation's recent election. Viewers, Paul Dio has our report. At age 85, Paul Bia, Cameroon's president uh, since 1982, is one of the world's oldest heads of state. He recently won a re-election with 71% of the vote. His strongest challenger, Maurice Akamto, received 14%. Bia's October 7th poll victory comes amid claims from opposition candidates that the election was marred by fraud, including ballot staffing and voter intimidation. But Bia's supporters disagree. Paul Bia is a guarantor of peace, success, prosperity and living together. That's why we've chosen him as our president. Am I telling the truth? Yes, I'm telling the truth. Yes. The Constitutional Council rejected all 18 petitions are claiming fraud, giving the long-time Cameroonian leader a seventh term in office. It's possible that President Abia could remain in power until at least the age of 92. Amid post-election candidate claims, some opposition leaders are rushed to declare themselves as the legitimate winners of the vote. Candidate Maurice Akamto pronounced himself the winner before even the first results were announced. On this, I call on the Republic's Defense Force, the force de défense, forces of law and order, to positively accompany this intense historical moment, which the people of Cameroon have collectively nous a convié collectivement bestowed on as memorable. Mes bras My arms are open for us to work together for our national renaissance jointly. À la renaissance nationale. Camto, whose claims of victory were short-lived, alleged that six of the 11 members of the Constitutional Council were biased in Bia's favor and could not hand him the success that he claims that he rightly deserves. Local and African Union election observers said the poll was mostly successful, with minor irregularities that didn't affect the outcome of the vote, since they say he allegedly controlled the process. <laughs> Many Cameroonian citizens remained worried about the future of their beloved country and want to see him do more to unite the country. Critics say despite this win, President Beer faces tough times ahead. What's happening in North and South is very sad. Many people are dying, people are suffering, villages are burned. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a matter of elections. It's a matter of survival for the Cameroonian people. And I hope the international organizations will do just that. As tens of thousands of Cameroonians are displaced by a bloody separatist insurgency in the English-speaking Northwest and Southwest continue to push for secession. The chaos began in October 2016 when lawyers and and teachers in English-speaking cities went on strike in protest at having to use a French in schools and courtrooms. Clashes broke out in the following weeks and some protesters were killed. Hundreds were arrested and put on trial for charges, carrying long sentences or death penalty. Political analysts say support for secession continues to grow as hundreds of thousands demand a breakaway state called Ambazonia. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.